the speaker has no business in what business is transacted in parliament. I wouldn't say that at all. Except to say that no speaker has the right to also say that I will not allow government business to be transacted. No speaker has that authority. Period. We'll continue further engagement with the um, minority. Um, just so that I guess people may talk from very informed perspectives and not resort to sheer shenanigans to confuse Ghanaians. But having said that, um, I would also say I don't see how the minority can say that we will, we will people say we will not allow it. Yes. The constitution provides you the way if you don't like it, to oppose it. And it's established in Article 11 of the Constitution. This is a legislative instrument. It's a regulation. It says, Article 11, Clause 7, provides any order, rule, or regulation made by a person of authority under a power conferred by this Constitution or any other law shall be laid in Parliament be published in the Gazette on the day it is laid before Parliament, and C, come into force at the expiration of 21 sitting days after being so laid, unless Parliament, before the expiration of 21 days, annuls the order, rule, or regulation by votes of not less than two-thirds of all members of Parliament. And that is the constitutional provision. And that is the path established for us under the rule of law. It is not about physicalities.